Down here, salt is a way of life. Obviously, the environment down here is all salt. The, the ceiling's salt, the floor is salt, the walls are salt, and to an extent, the air is salt. And you breathe that in, and you can constantly taste the salt. Hey, baby, wake up from your sleep. We have arrived onto the future, and the whole world is become... Are you guys excited? Yeah. Alrighty, I'm here to tell you why you guys should forget everything you know right now. So, <laughs> what follows is a brief construction montage. Holy shit. Okay, uh, duh. I apologize for the cursing. I don't. I don't care. Wow. Dude, are you serious? The freaking music, man. Oh boy. Oh boy. One debt to society later. Oh. Okay, they're, they're chopping it now. Oh, Way to make it. I love the Twitch chat. They're all sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> what? Forget what you know. Oh my god. Let's go. Why are you bullying me? You fucking bitch, why are you bullying me? Everyone asks me, pick me one. What we wear, wear, what we name, what we wear, wear, what we name. This is a this is a bit weird doing a video standing up, especially my first video with a webcam. Also, like I'm trying to crouch a bit so that the camera it's like cars passing by and stuff. But uh, what's going on, guys? My name is Lynx, and Black Ops 4 is just around the corner. Black Ops 4 teaser was released a while back, and in it they basically like, cut out a huge piece of metal. Not actually cutting it out, but like I don't know what they did to it, but this like they cut it out basically. Uh, it turns into the Roman numerals I I I I. Then the screen goes black and it shows about everything that like we know, flashing by like Black Ops One, the entire trilogy, gameplay, slow mos. I don't know, like slowly turning into the Black Ops Four logo again. Uh, it goes black and then tells us to forget what we know. Huge meme right now, just forget what you know. I'm gonna tell you why you guys should forget everything you know right now. Okay, so with all of that, we can see that uh, they oddly chose the Roman numerals I, 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 meaning four, because uh, that's just another way to do it, I guess. But they didn't choose IV, and people are thinking it's for a reason. Like, IV would be in any other game. Oh, I just got a tweet. Okay, uh, IV would be in like any other game, like Grand Theft Auto, IV. Some people think that the I I I I, I, I is hinting that the game will be 
uh, the sequel to Black Ops 2, like Black Ops 2, 2, because there's two eyes. No, four eyes. In two pairs, I guess. That's what people are thinking. Because uh, the story in Black Ops 2 kind of jumped to Black Ops 3 and it was a bit overwhelming. It wasn't really like the same thing at all. But it basically just jumped in time a lot and people had no idea what was going on. So maybe it'll be the sequel to Black Ops 2, but that's just a thing people are talking about in the community. Basically, after it says forget what you know, after showing us everything that we do know about the trilogy, community reveal event is May 17th and the release date's October 12th. So the reveal event's not even a month away. It's the it's the 22nd right now. I don't know when this video is going up, but May 17th is just a few days away. Like, it's next month. The release date, October 12th, they always do it on November 6th for Treyarch Games. So people think that Red Dead's getting in the way of the release, so they're releasing it a bit early in October instead of November. That's also what I think. I think Red Dead is just too much, too much hype around it, and they have to release it so that it doesn't just die when uh, Red Dead comes out. Alright, so now let's get into the leaks. So I have a list of leaks here because I can't like remember them all. There's so many, so many things to remember. But basically, some of the main leaks are that Call of Duty Black Ops 4 will not have a traditional Call of Duty campaign, which would be like a first in COD history because I think every COD, even like COD 1, has had a campaign. There are more leaks saying that Raven Software will be developing a battle royale mode for the new COD, which would, I guess, take place of campaign if they're going to have a third mode instead of campaign, have a battle royale, because that's a very popular thing right now, you can see with uh, Fortnite, PUBG. Okay, so how do I feel about this? Uh, basically, I think I think this is amazing that Treyarch would be uh, doing this, it's amazing on their part. They saw the selling point last year, not last year, but uh, with their not last COD, Black Ops 3, which was not the campaign, it was definitely Zombies and Multiplayer, Zombies Chronicles being like the most sold digital item of their year. Alright, so yeah, taking time off campaign, which a very low percentage of players actually care about, and giving us a better multiplayer, better zombies experience, and even time for like side modes, like last year they had free roam, nightmares, I don't think people cared about nightmares, but free roam nightmares, they still had it, Dead Ops Arcade 2, they could give us Dead Ops Arcade again, free roam, even like, Battle Royale. Anyways, after the MW2 remastered, Modern Warfare 2 Remastered let down, saying that it will be campaign only. They were saying that no one cares about campaign, they only want multiplayer. And now that Treyarch said that they're gonna not have a campaign, now it's like the complete opposite. They, everybody wants a campaign for some reason. I don't know why. I think if they focus on multiplayer and zombies, it has a better overlasting cycle. Because even Overwatch, it, all it had when it came out is multiplayer. All it still has is multiplayer. You don't need a campaign, you don't need all this other stuff to make a good game. Alright, now one more thing is actually very exciting because I read the comics for the zombies and I actually like the Transit crew a lot, the Victus crew. Uh, so the voice actor who plays Misty in COD Zombies will probably come back in Black Ops 2 because in her bio she put hashtag Misty, it's probably somewhere up on screen, uh, hashtag Misty. Which isn't, Missy's not a popular character in games. I don't know why she'd put Missy in there, especially this many years after Black Ops 2. So she, I think she's definitely voice acting again for Missy. Which is actually very exciting because I want to see them again. I want to see Victus. I want to see Victus meet the Primus crew in Zombies. I think that'd be really cool. And plus the comics left off in Mob of the Dead. So Mob of the Dead remastered with the Victus crew would be even better. Alright, so there are also people saying uh, that it will come to Nintendo Switch, which I'm not too sure about. It might, but I don't know. Uh, I just hope all the DLC comes out in the same time this year. PS4 doesn't get it a whole month early, because that's really annoying. I can't solve any Easter eggs, and I love solving Easter eggs. So I hope uh, we just all get it at the same time this year, like not a month early for PS4. And yeah, that's about it for uh, the leaks and potential news. Let me know your guys' opinions uh, down below in the comments. I don't know, do you guys want to see a battle royale? Do you want to see no battle royale? Do you want to see a battle royale with zombies? Grief mode? Competitive zombies? I don't know. Just let me know down below and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.